Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is July 30th, 2018. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, getting started here, we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading basically flat on the day. They are up a quarter point right now, trading at 28.18 per contract. So all in all, futures have gone into the flat range uh, from being down overnight. So we'll see how this all plays out. But you can see right around 2 o'clock in the morning, futures were much, much lower. They have started to increase and rise back to the flat line. Now, Friday, we had a pretty good market sell-off. So we'll see if we get some more volatility out here for a Monday. Mondays tend to be on the lighter volume side. But uh, being that we had a pretty good volatile Friday, maybe we'll get some good Monday action out here. Either way, we have stocks in the news and we have earnings plays out here and that's all that matters. That's where we're going to focus our attention. First stock we're going to take a look at this morning is going to be Caterpillar. Ticker symbol is CAT. Everybody knows this company. Right now, the stock is trading at 146.44, closed at 142.56. So this is a decent little uptick for Caterpillar. The stock is going to have very good resistance around the 150 level today. So keep that on the radar. If you take a look at a daily chart, you'll see it pretty easily. You're going to go right into uh, this little area right here. you got a nice gap window. So 150 is definitely the big test, the big resistance point for Caterpillar that I can see right off the bat right now. So we'll see how it plays out. So far, so good for the stock. It's holding up very, very well this morning, getting a nice little pop. Next one we're going to take a look at here is going to be Seagate. STX is the ticker symbol here. Seagate right now trading at $55.65. Stock closed at about $54.69 on Friday. So this is up ticking a little bit. But that was after a good sell-off on Friday, so we don't want to make too much out of this pop. This is on the back of earnings. Again, Seagate, in my opinion, all the way up, uh, even till uh, you know around the the 60, 55, uh, 58 to sixty dollar level, is just a ton of resistance. So be very, very careful. If you own the stock, you know, try your stop loss. If you don't own it, don't do much here with it yet. We'll re-examine it in the intraday stock chat room once the opening bell rings. Let's take a look at TSN, which is Tyson Foods. Stock right now is getting hit. It is trading at $60.55. This name closed at $63.56 on Friday. So again, Tyson under some pressure. This is also on the back of lower guidance. So again, stock coming out with lower guidance, getting hit a little bit. It has been beat, a beaten down equity. I'm going to try to work out some levels for this. Hopefully, I'll have them ready for the intraday stock chat room right at 9.30. So get ready. Uh, we'll try to have levels for Tyson Foods. Sticking with the food theme, let's take a look at Bloomin, B-L-M-N, Bloomin Brands here. You're going to see the stock is trading at $20.75. It closed at $19.55. So good little pop there for Bloomin. Um, if this does start to run higher, you're going to watch the $22 level. There should be a wall of resistance at $22. Bucks. You can see it here on the daily chart. Take a look at that $22 area. There should be a ton of resistance there. So again, if Bloomin does run up, watch $22 bucks as major, major resistance. That's still got some time to go. Probably another $1.25 from here. But nonetheless, $22, it starts to hit a lot of resistance. Let's take a look here at BAH which is Booz Allen Hamilton, security firm. Stock right now is trading at 46.50, closed at 45.74. This stock's been on a tear um, really ever since its last sell-off, and you have to go all the way back to June of 2017. But um, it's been moving steadily higher, and the trend is up. So this is a stock that might have a date with $50 eventually. I see no problems with BAH right now. Let's take a look at Sohu, Chinese ADR. This stock right now is trading at $26.63, closed at $30.53. I believe this is on the back of earnings. There's nothing I would do with this name right now. I just won't own it. Uh, I don't see anything really solid here, but we will take a look at it in the intraday stock chat room once the opening bell rings. But I'm not seeing anything to do right off the bat here with Sohu. So sit tight. We'll keep an eye on it, and we'll see where we go. But um, right now, nothing interesting for Sohu as far as a trade level is concerned. Let's take a look at KBR. 
KBR this morning trading at $19.30, closed at $18.71. So this is a nice little pop. There's going to be pretty good resistance around the 20 and a quarter level if it gets up there. Um, we'll look at it if it does. I'm not sure it will do that. Next up, I want to take a look at FDC first data. And what you're going to see here is stock is trading at 24 bucks, closed at $22.62. So this is a nice pop. Again, this stock, in my opinion, though, is a little bit stretched, a little bit long in the tooth. So if you own this name, try to stop loss immediately. If you do not own it, I would not be chasing this name right here. So again, a uh, nice little move for first data. But the reality of it is it's very, very extended at this stage of the game. All right, let's switch gears here a little bit. Let's go over to the gold market. Gold is trading down $1.40 to $1,231.30 an ounce. If you take a look at the GLD, that's a good ETF to track the movement in gold. That's trading at $115.77, down from $115.83, so reflecting a little down ticking, but nothing terrible there. Gold has been very, very beaten up. It's very, very oversold, but again, as long as the dollar holds up, gold seems to go nowhere these days. Next up, we want to take a look at crude oil. Crude is up $1.35 to $70.05 a barrel. So crude on the move again. If you take a look at the USO, what you're going to see here is that the USO is trading at 1456, up from 1432. Crude again up a dollar 36 today, back above 70 a barrel. So crude is very very strong this morning. All right, we're going to leave it here, short and sweet. Once again, if you haven't done so, come on over, take that seven day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. We've had a great 2018, a great Friday, and again, if you want to trade alongside of us, take that seven day free trial. Check it out. Check out what we do. Be right on our sidelines here, and you see everything that's happening. With that being said, everybody, I'm going to leave it here. I want to wish you all a great, great trading session, and we'll see you on the charts.